it felt like there was a bit of a revelation there in your pain and how it impacts the pain. Because, you know, up until like this interview, you shared that there may be some negative impact because of the pain, but I'm hearing it completely different now. It, like a, like a, a resolve. Is that well, I have to be, be careful. Well, this little reserve Jay that nobody knows about, I mean, he is tough. I, I'll, In an orchestra, if everybody played their instrument all at the same level, all at the same time, not only would it be loud, it would be offensive. Like it wouldn't even be nice to listen to. You couldn't stand it. So in a painting, you have to sort of orchestrate these things so that it all, you know, it kind of builds and builds and builds and then it. To solve a small painting is not the same strategy as solving a big painting. There's parts in a big painting that have to be quiet. They have to be grayed down, they have to be muted so that the other parts where the sunlight is, where the color is, it can really be enhanced. Well, that's really difficult to know how to make those judgment calls, just like the conductor in an orchestra. So when you quiet something down, it's like adding poetry. To the, to the scene. And so the more that I can quiet down and just leave the bare essence left, then you'll feel the painting more. Frederick Remington, he's, he was a cowboy artist, um, considered very realistic, but he said, I want you to feel the detail, not see it. So when people are saying how how are you doing? I'm still in this pain. It hasn't receded at all. And I'm looking at the clock and I've already lost some days on the calendar, but I'm really thankful that I hit it so hard because I was actually ahead of schedule. I tried to come down to the studio and I thought, I'm just gonna grit through it. You know, I, I, can, I can do this. So I came to the studio and I was weak and dizzy and wobbly and like, good try, but no, I, there's no way I can paint. So the next day, I got up, showered, came down. No, can't do it. Went home and rested. I'm like, I'm gonna come back in the afternoon. Even though the morning was a fail, I'm gonna try again. So I came back and lo and behold, standing, I was relatively pain-free. I mean, I put ice on my back and some pain meds, and I was actually able to function. I might, wait a minute, <laughs> maybe this might work. It took me to push. If I would have just given up in the morning, you know, every morning come down and it's like, nope. Something in my mind said, I am not gonna give up. So not only is this the biggest painting I've ever done, scale-wise, and I love a challenge, I love to paint big, um, but it's probably the most important, prestigious location. Cherry Hills Country Club. Everywhere you look, there's pieces of golfing history. The, the bar is set pretty high here. I know the prestige of this. I am super happy with this painting. It was a challenge, and it's twice as big as anything I've ever done. 
but I can't wait to show you. Do you want to see it? Yeah. The battle is real. I said, if I can pull this off, I said, well, I will. That will be the biggest accomplishment of my life. Thank you.